Designed for versatility, mobility, and survivability, the Tear X2 is one of the most advanced wheeled armored fighting vehicles in the world. It represents the next generation of land combat systems developed to meet the growing operational demands of modern military forces. Engineered by ST Engineering and developed in partnership with the U.S. company Science Applications International Corporation, the Tear X2 is a significant evolution over its predecessor, the original Tear X Infantry Carrier Vehicle. This second iteration has been reimagined for amphibious operations, heavier firepower, and improved protection, putting it in a class of its own among 8x8 wheeled vehicles. At first glance, the Tear X2's robust and modern design reflects its engineering excellence. It features a double V-hull configuration, which significantly enhances its survivability against improvised explosive devices and landmines. This hull design deflects blast energy away from the crew compartment, protecting occupants from underbody explosions. The vehicle's high level of protection is one of its defining characteristics. It is constructed using modular armor systems that allow it to be tailored to different threat levels. This means that the vehicle can be configured with various types of armor packages depending on mission requirements, ranging from all-around ballistic protection to enhanced anti-mine defense. The Tear X2's combat weight is approximately 30 tons, making it heavier than the original Tear X. However, its advanced powertrain ensures that it remains highly mobile and maneuverable across difficult terrain. It is powered by a Caterpillar C9 turbocharged diesel engine, which delivers around 450 horsepower. This engine, combined with an independent suspension system and a central tire inflation system, allows the vehicle to achieve impressive off-road performance while maintaining high-speed capabilities on paved roads. The Tear X2 has a maximum road speed of around 90 km per hour and can travel over 600 km without refueling. A standout feature of the Tear X2 is its amphibious capability. The vehicle is fully amphibious and can traverse water obstacles with minimal preparation. Its rear-mounted twin water jets provide propulsion in water, allowing it to swim at speeds of up to 6 km per hour. This capability makes the Tear X2 ideal for expeditionary and coastal defense operations, where river crossings and littoral landings are essential. The vehicle's amphibious design does not compromise its armor or troop carrying capacity, making it a unique solution for forces that require both protection and mobility in waterborne environments. Internally, the Tear X2 can carry up to 11 personnel, including a driver, commander, gunner, and eight dismounted infantry troops. The interior is designed for ergonomic efficiency, with blast attenuating seats, integrated communications systems, and advanced digital displays. Troops can enter and exit the vehicle quickly through a large rear ramp or roof hatches, allowing for rapid deployment in high-threat environments. The vehicle's internal space is modular, enabling it to be configured for various mission roles, including troop transport, reconnaissance, command and control, ambulance, and fire support. The Tear X2 also features a fully digital battlefield management system, providing real-time situational awareness to the crew and integrating seamlessly with broader command networks. This digital backbone allows for information sharing across units and platforms, enabling more coordinated and efficient combat operations. The system supports features like blue force tracking, video surveillance, threat detection, and route planning, enhancing the vehicle's role as a force multiplier on the battlefield. One of the most notable aspects of the Tear X2 is its armament flexibility. The vehicle can be outfitted with a wide range of weapon stations, depending on operational needs. It is compatible with remotely operated weapon stations, such as the Raphael Samson or Kongsberg Protector, which can mount heavy machine guns, automatic grenade launchers, or even anti-tank guided missiles. Some configurations of the Tear X2 are equipped with 30mm cannons in unmanned turrets, allowing for enhanced firepower while keeping crew members protected within the armored hull. This level of firepower makes it capable of engaging enemy infantry, light vehicles, and fortified positions with precision and lethal force. Singapore's focus on networked warfare and rapid deployment makes the Tear X2 a perfect fit for the Singapore Armed Forces. While the original Terex has been in service since the late 2000s, the Terex 2 is positioned not just as a successor but as a global contender. Its participation in the U.S. Marine Corps Amphibious Combat Vehicle Program, although not ultimately selected, highlighted its world-class capabilities and brought international attention to Singapore's defense technology sector. Despite not winning the contract, the Terex 2 demonstrated impressive performance during trials, competing directly against some of the best vehicles from around the world. In terms of survivability enhancements, the Terex 2 incorporates an advanced sensor suite, 
including laser warning receivers, thermal imaging, and situational cameras that provide 360-degree awareness. These features significantly reduce the risk of ambushes and improve reaction time. Optional active protection systems can also be integrated to intercept incoming threats such as rocket-propelled grenades or anti-tank missiles. These systems add another layer of survivability, turning the Terex-2 into not just a transporter, but a fighting vehicle capable of leading from the front in hostile conditions. The modularity of the Terex-2 allows it to adapt to changing battlefield requirements. It can be quickly reconfigured with various mission modules, such as command posts, mortar carriers, or recovery vehicles. This level of adaptability reduces logistical burden and increases operational flexibility, enabling a single platform to fulfill multiple combat and support roles. In this way, military forces can reduce the number of vehicle types in service, simplifying training, maintenance, and supply chains. From a strategic perspective, the Terex-2 represents Singapore's ambition to develop high-end indigenous defense technologies that meet global standards. It showcases the country's commitment to operational readiness, innovation, and international collaboration. The vehicle's development involved extensive testing and evaluation in various climates and terrains, ensuring that it can perform reliably in tropical, desert, or urban environments. As such, it is suitable not only for homeland defense but also for peacekeeping, humanitarian, and expeditionary missions abroad. Another critical advantage of the Terex-2 is its crew-centric design philosophy. The vehicle is built around the needs of its operators, emphasizing protection, awareness, and combat effectiveness. All seats are equipped with restraints and blast mitigation features, while the vehicle layout minimizes fatigue and maximizes crew performance during extended operations. Every element, from the driving position to the turret control interfaces, is designed with usability and safety in mind. Export interest in the Terex-2 has been growing, with multiple countries evaluating it for procurement. While adoption on a large scale remains in progress, the vehicle's performance in international trials has proven its competitiveness in the global market. As military forces around the world continue to shift toward networked, mobile, and amphibious warfare capabilities, vehicles like the Terex-2 are likely to gain prominence. Ultimately, the Terex-2 stands as a testament to what a modern armored fighting vehicle should be – mobile, modular, survivable, and ready for multi-domain operations. It integrates cutting-edge technology with practical battlefield experience to create a platform that meets the demands of current and future warfare. For Singapore, it is more than just a vehicle, it is a symbol of self-reliance, innovation, and a forward-looking military doctrine designed for the challenges of the 21st century.